What is going on guys? Happy Saturday and welcome back to Peak Performance Engineering. Today I want to take you guys through the unboxing of the FabBot Next Gen Adapter. And so what this adapter does is it actually allows you to run an LS or in our case an LT a V8 engine, you know, GM, LS, LT. Uh, and you're able to run that with a, an Ison AR5 transmission. So this transmission comes uh, stock in the Chevy Colorado and also the Pontiac Solstice Saturn Sky, the, the Kappa platform, which is what we have. And so the project we're working on is we have a 2007 Pontiac Solstice GXP that we turned into a death cart. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to get some photos of that for you guys. And uh, with it, we're going to be swapping out the factory four-cylinder LNF and putting in an LT motor. So we just picked up uh, last weekend a 2018 L83, which is a Gen 5 5.3 liter from a truck rated at 355 horsepower, all aluminum. And we're going to be swapping that into the Solstice. And so the main component of that is that we need to have this special adapter to be able to use our factory five-speed AR5 transmission. So couple reasons why we'd want to do that one is cost so a TR6060 uh, or you know regular uh, six-speed transmission they're about 1500 bucks and up right so for us to make things simple to not have to use a custom drive shaft we wanted to just stick with the uh, with the standard AR5 and just be able to bolt the motor in so turns out there's a couple things because uh, not I think no one has really done a Gen 5 yet with this AR5 adapter. Lots of guys have been using this adapter um, for LS motors, but with the LT, there are some differences. So one is that the LS motors have a six bolt flywheel. Now when they went to Gen 5, they went to an eight bolt flywheel. And so what that means for us is that uh, for this adapter to be able to work, we actually ended up having to get a custom flywheel. And the reason why is that the flywheels that are used on the 2014 and newer Corvettes or on the newer uh, CTSV, the uh, the Camaro SSs, they actually have a dual clutch set up from the factory. And so when we looked at the stack up with Fabbot, uh, the stack up for that clutch along with that flywheel was going to be too thick, and so we didn't think it would work. So uh, with some help from Fabbot, actually, they helped hook me up with American Powertrain, and so those guys actually make a custom flywheel. It's a billet steel flywheel where it has the eight bolt pattern, but it's actually drilled for the LS1 slash LS6 style pressure plates or clutches. So unfortunately, we, we couldn't use an LS7 clutch, which is really what I would prefer to do uh, because the LS7 clutches uh, have a little bit, or LS7 flywheels are slightly different than the LS1 flywheels. But anyway, it's fine. Uh, we ended up, we were able to order a nice uh, dual friction um, clutch assembly for this, but uh, the clutch actually came today, but I'm still waiting on the custom flywheel that won't be here till next week for our project. But anyway, today the main point is to show you guys this Fabit uh, Next Gen adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening that right now. All right, so we got some cool stickers, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Packaging looks really good. So I should say the Wither setup, I didn't just order the adapter. Um, you know, it also came with the slave cylinder because this, uh, even for our application, we still have to use the Chevy Colorado uh, slave. And then we also ordered the, uh, the speed bleeder uh, to be able to bleed it a little bit easier. And I think that might've been it. So I think all told, you know, with everything, with shipping and all that, it was about $533 for the adapter and all that stuff. Um, so again, you know, for that price, you're almost a third of the way there to go with uh, like a six speed. But at the same time for us, you know, we didn't want to have the cost of a custom drive shaft or have to even pull out the stock transmission at all, right? We're literally just going to unbolt the engine, keep the stock tranny, bolt, you know, bolt in the new motor um, with this, right? So all this really requires additionally, besides what's in this package, for us, for the Gen 5, of course, is the, the custom flywheel and then also just a 4L60 bolt pattern. So if you go on FabBot's website, they do tell you what uh, bell, uh, bell housing to get by part number. And so I was able to put in that part number into eBay and uh, we got a bell housing that was shipped on the way for like 70 bucks. So it, it's pretty cheap. Um, you know, so all in all, uh, the only kind of downside, the only expensive part with this Gen 5 was that custom billet flywheel um, from American Powertrain. That ran about 400 bucks plus shipping. So I think it was about $440. Um, so, so that's kind of a downer, you know, versus um, if we were doing, say, an LS swap, 
we could have just ran a regular $100, you know, flywheel or, or a $350 LS7, you know, clutch plus flywheel type combo. But uh, I think it's worth it, especially we're going to have this newer motor, um, you know, more horsepower. I mean, this uh, L83 5.3 liter makes as much power as an original LS1, right? They made 350. This new motor makes 355, you know, bone stock through, through catalytic converters, right? So, of course, with some aftermarket manifolds and the tune, um, you know, we should be picking up another 10, 15 horsepower. So, so I think it's a, a pretty good motor, uh, pretty good setup. So, again, let's, let's kind of get through this, open this up. So this thing, of course, is uh, machined all aluminum, so it's very lightweight. So here are the lines we ordered uh, for the uh, speed bleeder. So this is the hose assembly. This is the actual slave from the Colorado. Okay, so yeah, looks, looks brand new. And uh, like I said, we got the adapters and everything to be able to run the AM lines on here. So that's cool. And then here is the, uh, the actual important piece, right? All right, so let me go ahead and bring you guys in so you guys can get a closer look at this. All right, guys, so looking at this, here's the, uh, the nice billet adapter from Fabbot. So again, it's got their logo on it right there. It's pretty cool. So it looks really nice. And then this is the adapter and also the oversized uh, pilot bushing that goes onto the uh, transmission as well. So I think that was the other thing was um, with our... Uh, our Gen 5 motor, we need to have the oversized pilot bearing, which is the same kind uh, that's on like a uh, LS7. So hopefully all this works. So, so again, we'll, we'll probably come back. We'll give you guys some more updates uh, once we uh, actually get to start pulling the motor out of the Solstice, and then we can get the bell housing put on, um, get this Fabbit adapter put on, and then start to actually put it all together and make sure. So we'll send some updates. Uh, but actually, here's a look. This is the motor that we're gonna be sticking in. So again, this is a 2018 5.3 liter um, called the L83, so 355 horsepower stock. Um, you can see our motor, it did not come with a factory exhaust manifold, so we did end up picking up a set of some uh, uh, headers. These are swap headers, so basically about the same uh, exhaust exit location as factory, so we're hoping this will work. Um, and that's really it. It's, other than that, it's gonna be pretty much stock originally to go in and then down the road we may swap out the cam and maybe the intake manifold you know we'll do other couple cool things but uh that, that's about it so anyway guys uh make sure uh, if you like the channel please subscribe and we'll be posting up more videos as uh, as we continue to work on this project and the other projects so thanks a lot guys take care